we'll have to really wait and watch how things move from here on. Uh, moving on, let's talk about some of the specific news, in fact, some more news which we are tracking because of the news associated. Let's talk about HSIL now. This particular counter uh, has been in news, in fact, since last couple of days. And yesterday, uh, the QIP, the company actually managed to close their QIP successfully. Uh, they were looking to raise somewhere close to 250-odd crore rupees or so. Yesterday, the counter was up about 8 or the percent or so. But today, we are seeing some sort of weakness out there and HSIL, HSIL down about 3% as we speak. Uh, the issue actually closed at 400 rupees per share. We have the management of HSIL um, now joining us to give us a sense of this particular QIP. Mr. R.B. Cabra, President at HSIL. Thank you very much, Mr. Cabra, for joining us here on NDTV Profit. Uh, give us a sense of this particular QIP that closed yesterday. What kind of response did you get? Yeah, thank you very much, ma'am. We had uh, the uh, resolution from the board as well as the shareholders to have a uh, raise a capital by 250 crore rupees. And uh, when we went to the market, the response was overwhelming. The book was uh, more than two and a half times approximately the expression of interest. And finally, we had yesterday closed by raising 250 crore rupees successfully from the QIP investors. Who all really uh, subscribe to this particular QIP? Where did you get the interest from and why exactly? I mean, are you happy with the uh, closing of the issue that happened at 400 rupees per share? Yeah. the uh, Actually, the uh, uh, floor price uh, for the share was around 412 rupees as per the SEBI formula when we opened the QIP for subscription. And uh, we gave 3% discount and uh, we offered that as uh, 400 rupees. Normally, we understand that the Discount on the SEBI formula price goes up to 5% and uh, the last few QIPs have been done at 5% discount. But we could manage it at 3% discount because uh, all good names were uh, backing us and uh, the overwhelming response looking to the book size. We could convince the uh, proposed investors that 3% discount is good enough and uh, we could close uh, that uh, QIP at 400 rupees. We had uh, all good names from India as well as abroad. If you talk of Indian institutions, we had SDFC Mutual Fund, we had Bilda Mutual Fund, we had Sundaram Mutual Fund, we had Kotak, we had uh, uh, Bajaj Alliance, and uh, we also had uh, um, uh, Reliance. So all these people had participated, and similarly from uh, abroad, uh, and the FIIs, we had uh, Fairing Capital, we had Prince Street, we had Samsung, and few other names. So very, very good names has uh, come as an investor into the QIP. Right. Mr. Cabra, where exactly are you looking forward to use these particular funds that you have managed to raise? Yeah, these funds will be uh, used uh, for immediately paying off our debts because uh, with whatever CapEx plan we have, those are already funded through the internal accruals. We don't have large CapEx plans immediately coming up. It's only around 50 crore rupees in next one year. So, and the internal accruals are much more than that. And once we start uh, work on the new greenfield sanitary plant sometime next financial year, and uh, that will take us two years uh, from the day of ground breaking. And that investment of 150 crore, again, the uh, internal accruals will be more than good enough to take care of that. So, we will be repaying debts from these QIP proceeds. How much is the debt on books right now? And how much are you looking forward to reduce, say, by the end of the next financial year? Yeah, by, uh, when we, uh, the current debt level is around 1,000 crore rupees and uh, we will be paying off these 250 crore rupees immediately which will give us a sa interest saving of around 22 and a half to 25 crore rupees. So the interest charges which is around 75 crore rupees annually will come down to 50 crore rupees annually this year. And next year also we would be paying around 100 crore rupees through the internal accruals. So by end of the next year the debt should be around 600 crore rupees. All right. Uh, so 600 crore rupees is something that you are looking to reduce your debt to. And also, uh, you, you said your CAPEX plans include just 50 crore CAPEX, which is through internal accruals, and that's going to happen for FY, uh, uh, it's FY16, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, FY16, we will also start a work on a greenfield plant, but initially the money required would be very less. 150 crore rupees will have to be invested over a period of two years. And the large investment comes after the one year because the first year is only the building work which starts. And when the machinery just start arriving, then only the large capex starts. So out of 150 crore rupees, maybe 50 crore rupees will be in the first year and 100 crore rupees in the second year.
Right, and lastly, before we let you go, Mr. Cabra, can you also give us a sense of what's really happening with your tiles business? Last when we spoke to uh, you and the management, the indication was that you're looking to exit your tiles business. So has it really happened or are you still in the process of exiting your tile business? Yeah, actually, uh, we started, uh, we entered tile business by trading and by importing high-end tiles uh, from European mm -hmm. countries and Middle Eastern countries. But at the end of the day, we realized that margins were very thin. So we decided to go out of that business. Uh, we did not uh, put any manufacturing capacities for the tiles. It was only a purely outsourced model. And last year when we realized that we are not making good money, we decided to go off. And uh, it was from Q2 of uh, this financial year, 14-15, we decided to exit. Currently, we are only clearing our stocks, which are very little. And uh, I think by end of June uh, this year, year we, we will be completely out of the tile business. All right. So by June this year, you're expecting to exit the tile business completely. Thank you very much, Mr. Cabra, for joining us here on NDTV Profit and giving us a sense of the QIP and the business plans ahead. We are slipping into another very short break at this point in time. Don't go anywhere. We'll talk about the big policy decision that came out yesterday. The government finally managed to get clearance as far as the insurance bill in the Rajasabha is concerned.